This is my second video over chapter one of Of Mice and Men, and uh, I just want to look at a couple of other themes and uh, make one more statement about George and Lenny. Um, two of the themes that you want to be looking at as you read this text, one of them is hope. The question is, what brings characters hope? What gives them hope? Um, and you just have to ask that throughout. Um, what role does hope play? How does hope help? And how does hope harm these characters? Because it will do both. It will do both. And, and so be looking for that. Um, they have hope here in, a, in, in the real dream, uh, or the authentic American dream that, that we've been talking about. Uh, and, and we want to see the progression of that and what hope does to characters throughout the text. Um, another theme you want to look at is poverty. What is it like to Steinbeck's depiction of the poor? Um, we, we read the Harvest Gypsies, and that was journalism. That was Steinbeck reporting what he saw. And now we want to look at his fictionalized accounts of him trying to show the reality of poverty through his characters. And so be asking yourself, what is, what is the situation for those in poverty? Um, what are their lack of options? How does that affect them? One last thing I want you to see about George and Lenny in chapter one and something that we'll look at throughout the text. I've already talked about the fact that they are foils, uh, that they are opposites, and, and that's clear. Um, they're opposites, but I also want you to notice how they need each other to balance each other out. There is a dependence there. Now, on first look, it, it, it simply looks like Lenny needs George. Um, we don't know a lot about their history right now, but clearly, Lenny would struggle on his own. He is fortunate to have somebody looking out for him. Um, but if you read the chapter carefully, it's not just that. You also have George needing Lenny. And we really see that on page 12. If you, when you first read this book, George is a, is a jerk. You're reading it and he's being mean to Lenny and he's being kind of a, a whiner and he's, and he's, and he's very just, I wish you weren't with me. I, my life would be so much better. You're such a big problem. And, and, and he's really just angry and self-centered. Lenny takes that out of him. Bottom of page 12, uh, Lenny threatens to leave. And, and again, Lenny's not going anywhere. This is, this is ridiculous. He says, I'll, I'll go live in a cave if I need to. And at the bottom of page 12, George looked quickly and searchingly at him. And George says, I've been mean, ain't I? It takes Lenny to make George realize that he's been mean. It humanizes George. George's source for joy, for seeing the good things, for not being like every other lonely rancher, his source for that is Lenny. Uh, and so as Lenny needs George's common sense to just survive in the world, George needs Lenny's innocence and his joy. Um, George is, knows too much and is, is on his own to be joyful, but not Lenny. Uh, Lenny just wants soft things to pet. He's, he's, he's pretty easy to please, but, but he's, he's happy. And so if, if you watch carefully through the book, the two of them need each other. There's a dependence there. And so they are both foils and mutually dependent because they need each other for balance in life. So be watching for that as you continue through these chapters. And I believe that is most of the major points I wanted to make on chapter one. So I'll move on to chapter two.